Their voice has gone out into all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, the scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and bestows his riches upon all who call upon him. For everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. But how are men to call upon him in whom they have, no, whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without a preacher? And how can men preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach good news. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes by the preaching of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have, for their voice has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the end, ends of the world. Again I ask, did Israel did not understand? First Moses says, I will make you jealous of those who are not a nation. With a foolish nation I will make you angry. Then Isaiah is so bold as to say, I have been found by those who, who did not seek me. I have shown myself to those who did not ask for me. But of Israel, he says, all day long I have held out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. I ask then, has God rejected his people? By no means. I myself is an, am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people from he for new. Peace be unto you, the reader. 